Good day everyone. Today's topic is how to create your own HMI buttons and switching animation using graphic image in Tia Portal. Animation creates the illusion of motion, it looks realistic. How it works. The first step you must do is to create your PLC program code, I have prepared a simple stop start circuit diagram for our example. The second step you must do is to search on the internet graphic images we need for this example project, such as push buttons, switches, and other graphic images. The third step that you must do is to open a Microsoft Word to resize the graphic images, and Microsoft Paint to edit and finalize the graphic images. If Adobe Photoshop is available on your PC it would be better. Copy the graphic image from the web browser. Paste this image in the MS Paint. Check the image quality, edit or clean the image when necessary. Copy the portion you need for this project. Paste the image in the MS Word. Finalize the size of the graphic image, and resize it when necessary. This image will be our graphic image when button is not pressed. When done, we need to create new one. Just copy the first graphic image to create new one. Paste it here. This time, we have to resize it a little bit, it should not be the same size from the first image. The first image will be our graphic image when emergency button is not pressed, the second image will be our graphic image when button is pressed. For other devices with similar function, just follow what we did earlier. How about this kind of graphic image? We are lucky that we found a switch with different knob position, what if you only have one direction? Similar step we did earlier, just copy the first graphic image to create new one. This time, we need to change the direction of the switch knob, just simply rotate the graphic image, and then repeat what we did earlier. This will be the on position. Let's create another direction for trip position. Everything is ready. Always make sure that your graphic background matches in your HMI screen. Copy this image, and paste the final graphic image on the Microsoft Paint. Always put it on the center. When done, save it individually. Create new folder for this graphics. Emergency off button when not pressed. And let's create emergency off button when pressed. Save this graphic. And let's create another one. Let's create a stop button when not pressed. Save this graphic. And let's create a stop button when pressed. Save this graphic. For the similar function, just follow what we did earlier. I will skip the others. Let's create selector switch knob position when off. Always put it on the center. Save this graphic. Let's create selector switch knob position when on. 
Put again on the center. Save this graphic. And let's create selector switch knob position when trip or when fault occur. Finally, our graphics are ready. Let's add new screen for this example project. When done. I need to replace the screen background, it should be match in our graphic that I created earlier. For our reference, let's attach the ladder diagram in the screen of the working area. The first device that we need to add is the emergency stop. So let's take one switch available in the toolbox. Just click the switch and then drag and drop in the working area of the screen. Under general and properties, change mode format to switch with graphic. When graphic is not yet available in the selection here, you have to create new graphic from file. Click here to open the selection dialog for the graphic when button is on. And click here to open the selection dialog for the graphic when button is off. Resize and align the graphic. Let's define the correct process tag here. This switch must be connected correctly to the global tag on the CPU, otherwise this switch will not work properly. One more thing, we need to change the appearance and design color of this switch because the screen and graphic background are all white, but let's simulate first our first switch to check if it is working properly. Please wait. Switching animation is working as expected. Let's test the functionality of this switch in the PLC program. It's perfect. Let's change the appearance and design color of this switch. Let's save the project and simulate once again. It's perfect. And that is how switching graphic animation works. Let's create a new one for the on-off switch. Just follow what we did earlier. You can also copy the previous switch. It's exactly the same method from the previous one. In the configuration, only change what is necessary. The global tag here in our on-off switch is M6.1 memory bit. Let's replace the graphic image when button is on, and when button is off. Resize and align the graphic. Let's create a new one for the stop push button, button is available in the toolbox. 
Just click the button and then drag and drop in the working area of the screen. Under General and Properties, change mode format to Graphic. You can also choose Graphic and Text if you want to. In this side, there are two possible way to create button animation, if you choose graphic list, then you have to create graphic list on the text and graphic lists folder. If you choose graphic, click here to open the selection dialog for the graphic when button is not pressed, if not available in the selection above, create new graphic from file. When done, check this box to open another graphic selection dialog box when the button is pressed. Just follow what we did earlier. Align and resize the graphic. We also need to change the appearance and design color of this button that match on the screen and graphic background. The functionality must also be configured as a push button. To do this, go to the events menu, select the press event, and then click add function, and type set bit without space. The global tag of the stop push button is M6.3 memory bit. Let's configure the functionality as a stop push button when the button is pressed. This button must be connected correctly to the global tag on the CPU, otherwise this button will not work properly. And when the button is release, click here to add function. Type reset bit without space. Again, the global tag of this stop button is M6.3 memory bit. Let's create a new one for the start push button. It's the same method, just copy the previous button, change with correct configuration. Just follow what we did earlier. Let's configure in the event the functionality is a start push button. In the configuration, only change what is necessary. The global tag of the start push button is M6.4 memory bit. Let's replace the graphic when button is not pressed and when the button is pressed. Just follow what we did earlier. Let's try adding an additional graphic here with a different color to make it more realistic. If you have your own external graphics, click this folder to create link to graphic folder. Follow this example to browse the correct path of the folder that you want to link. Then click OK button. Just click the graphic and then drag and drop in the working area of the screen. Click this button to copy the same width and height of the graphic. How this additional graphic works. The black button will change to blue color when output turns on. This graphic will be visible when the output is energized. When the thermal overload trip, we can also add additional graphic to assume that switch is also trip. Let's just copy this one because the function is similar. Wait for a moment, I think I have to delete what is not necessary. How does this new graphic works? When fault occurs, this switch will trip. If the operator tries to restart the circuit, it will forcefully disable the original switch. The switch will not restart unless the cause of the thermal overload trip is fixed. Let me change the graphic when the switch is pressed and not pressed. Just follow what we did earlier. This switch will be visible when the thermal overload trip.
we can add additional graphics for the output. There are pump graphics available in the toolbox. Let's create first a graphic list, then open the graphics lists tab, click add new in the graphics lists table. This type of graphic is just on or off state. Select the first graphic that you want to use by drag and drop the objects from the toolbox to the graphic list entries. Zero value means off, one means on. Copy the graphic list, and paste it in the HMI screen working area. Let's configure this graphic list. Click the graphic list and then click properties to open the properties window. Under general in the properties, change mode to output. Let's define the correct process tag here. This graphic list must be connected correctly to the global tag on the CPU. The global tag here in our output is M6.5 memory bit. Let's add another pump graphic here when the fault occurs. We can copy the visibility configuration of this switch when fault occurs. Save the project and compile, let's see if there's any error. Let's put the additional graphics in the center of the selected object. I think it's about time to start the simulation. Let's see if everything's working fine. Please wait. Let's test again the emergency off button. Let's try the on-off switch. Stop push button. Start push button. Pump graphic turns green. I think everything working fine. Let's try to activate the thermal overload trip. When fault occurs, this switch will trip. The pump turns red. If the operator tries to restart the circuit, it will forcefully disable the original switch. The switch will not restart unless the cause of the thermal overload trip is fixed. That's how that buttons and switching animation works in the pumping system. I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.